Okay, you crazy eco boosters. What I'm what I'm making this video for is that some of us recently have started a cold start technique where we crank the motor over but we do not let the motor start and our efforts are an attempt to build oil pressure and get some oil up on top of that motor before the engine actually starts running. Our theory is is you know, maybe we can extend the life or maybe combat against the cold start clack. But how do we know it really is building oil pressure? Or if it is, is it building sufficient oil pressure? And in fact, how long does it take for the cranking to actually build oil pressure? Well, this video is <clears throat> my attempt to show the oil pressure increasing while the engine is cranking over but not starting. And then you can at least get some idea about how long that takes. So... I'm going to give it accessory power so that I can light up my oil pressure. You'll see it pop up here. And we're going to go to gauges. Probably should have already had that. You see the oil pressure is that lower pid. And, of course, we're at zero. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my foot on the brake just like you have to to start any truck. But I'm going to floorboard it on the throttle. That will tell the engine not to start. Now, mine's a push-button start truck. And I believe that the computer will only let it crank for about five seconds. So, I'm actually going to let it crank and not let it start. Uh-oh. <clears throat> not let it start. So, you can see that oil pressure climb. Here we go. Ready? There you go. It hit 30 pounds right before it stopped. <clears throat> now, interesting, watch that oil pressure. It's running now. In case you can't hear the engine, it's running now. That oil pressure, that is not what the oil pressure of these engines run, but it will when it's cold. You'll see it, see it? Did you see it just drop? That's what this thing runs at on idle. That oil pressure right there. Kind of low for my comfort zone. Worse than that, that's the oil pressure this thing runs when you're cruising at 80 miles an hour with no load on the truck, just cruise control. Drives me nuts. Sure would like to have the Gen 1 EcoBoost oil, oiling system because it just had one single oil pressure speed, you know, and it let the truck have oil, in my opinion. Anyway, that's a different subject. There you go. It, I actually think that you it is a good idea to crank that bad boy over for about four seconds it looked like on this truck and I reached normal oil pr operating you know oil pressure. See you later boys.